I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways you can make your own liquid culture for growing mushrooms at home. This is going to be an incredibly, incredibly simple thing to do. And all we need is some corn syrup and water. <laughs> that's that's it. That's literally it. Now, I think if you're going to go this route, just use ball mason jars. The nice thing about mason jars is they already come with a lid and they come with the ring. And the cool thing about them is whenever you sterilize this and get it ready to inoculate, if you turn the lid upside down and put the ring on like that, you do not need to have any other means of air exchange because by putting that lid on upside down, it's not going to create a seal and you're culture will get enough oxygen in order to grow. So this is going to be the simplest way that you can grow your own mushrooms with liquid culture. I already have the measured amount that I want per ball mason jar here, little ball mason jar. Let me pour that in here. And let me pour that into my graduated cylinder to get an approximate value of how much water I need to measure out for this. So what do we got? About 75 milliliters thereabouts. So 75 milliliters, I'm going to make nine of these. That means that I need 675 milliliters of distilled water. Let me pour that in this beaker and get my jug of distilled water here. Eh, may have went a little, a little over, but that's fine. We'll go with 700 milliliters. Since we have the distilled water in our beaker, I'm going to get a, a nice size stir bar here. Let me place this in the bottom there and you want approximately four percent corn syrup to water by mass so since we're doing 700 milliliters of water here 700 milliliters of water will weigh about 700 grams you know one cubic centimeter of water is equal to one gram one cc of water equals one milliliter so this is approximately 700 grams of water so how much corn syrup do we need <laughs> let me do some math real quick so 700 times 0 0.04 28 and since corn syrup has a density of about one and a half grams per milliliter we need about 42 grams of corn syrup in here so what i'm actually going to do to make this a little easier i'm going to pour this water in here for a second well, i'm just going to get my little scale here because this should be able to hold the weight of the beaker like that. So I need 42 grams of corn syrup. A little over is not going to hurt anything. Close enough. Put that back on there with the water and the stir bar. Turn on stirring. <laughs> Once the stir bar actually gets free from the incredibly viscous corn syrup. There we go. And I'm just going to let that stir until everything is incorporated. Okay, now all we have to do is just divvy this up between nine of these. So let's do it. Got all nine of them laid out here. Let me turn off stirring. I don't need that. Now real quick, uh, you do not need a beaker and like a magnetic stir and magnetic stir bars and all this. You know, you can just use a, a spoon and a, a Pyrex cup or even a uh, regular drinking cup. You do not need any of this lab equipment. This is just what I have out here, so I'm I'm going to use it to make it a little bit easier on me. But yeah, you can just do this in a regular like mixing cup or whatever, and then use a spoon to stir all this together. But anyway, take this and divvy it between these nine dishes here as evenly as possible. And the last one always has a little less in it than anticipated. But that's actually not too bad. I'll take that. Now the next step, put the lid on upside down. And then put the ring on just as you would. That's it. Set that aside and do that for the rest of them. You don't have to absolutely tighten these, you know, to the, to the point where you can't get them off again. Just hand tight is fine. All right, now, since they are all sealed up, all we have to do is sterilize them. I'm going to use my Instant Pot that I actually just got done using not too long ago. So it already has some water in the bottom of it, and that should be more than enough to sterilize these guys. I'm 
Lid goes on. Sterilize that. 20 minutes should be more than enough for these guys. Start that. Make sure the vent is in the off position and just wait for this to do its thing. All right. This seems to be done. Let me take this out here. And one of them fell over. Let me fish that out. Hold on. Now that this has been sterilized, that's all you have to do. This is ready to, well, once it cools down, of course, it's still probably like 100 degrees Celsius almost. So let this cool down to room temperature. And once it's cooled down, this is ready to inoculate with either mushroom spores. You can inoculate it with mushroom live culture. You can inoculate it with a piece of a mushroom that you've cloned. You can inoculate it with almost anything mushroom related as long as it is a sterile source. The nice thing about this setup here is, like I said, since the lid is on upside down, this already has airflow. It's very minimal, but it's enough to grow mushrooms. And even though we have airflow, this is a very, very good way to keep contaminants out, but still let airflow and air exchange happen. And that's really all there is to it. Just put whatever you're putting in here, spores or live mycelium or whatever you're putting in here, and then just incubate it and that's it once this is colonized to the point that you want it you can either uh, shake it up break up the mushroom mycelium and then you could pour that into other jars and kind of exponentially grow your liquid culture collection or your liquid culture stock or once this is colonized to the point you want you can just pour that colonized liquid culture onto say like a sterilized rye grow bag it's really all there is to it this is a very very simple and foolproof way to make liquid cultures for your mushrooms hope you enjoyed that i'll see you guys next time bye bye